SpaceX and Elon Musk are other names for doing things that no one is ever expecting. Doing the impossible is what Elon always aims for. And for quite a while, he has been achieving all his goals. This time again, Musk's SpaceX has done something so incredible that we cannot refrain but appreciate what they have achieved in the realm of space. So what is it that has shocked the world? Well, stick around to find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the record-breaking rocket of SpaceX, the Falcon 9. What sort of record Falcon 9 has broken and what helped it reach that important milestone? We'll find out in a bit. Space travel is not a cheap endeavor. Although nowadays the prices of commodities as well as materials have significantly gone up. Even during the early phase, when the space industry was in its development phases, the costs were unbearable back then too. There was a reason that for many years we did not see any private players entering the industry, even if some companies like Boeing joined the industry. It was working under the mandate of NASA, which is a government body. Space travel is quite expensive, and that's one reason for the huge involvement of governmental agencies. The second and rather important reason is that the space industry was considered a not-for-profit industry. You see, two essential parts of a rocket liftoff from the face of the Earth. One is the top vessel, and the lower part is the rocket booster that propels it away. And the major costs of a spacecraft are accrued through the booster part. As once it propels the vessel out of orbit and gets its job done, it's of no use. The thing is, this happened before SpaceX joined the race to outer space. For the very first time, SpaceX introduced the concept of reusable booster rockets, and that completely transformed the industry. It's not like previous players had not thought of this, but it just never worked before. Landing a booster falling straight from the sky is not an easy task. So, even if some tried doing that, they failed and decided to keep using the old methods. What happened previously was that once the booster's job was done, it either came back and did a crash landing on Earth, or in some cases, stayed out there and became the spatial waste. That's where SpaceX comes in. When SpaceX introduced the world with its very powerful and capable Falcon 9 spacecraft, along came the news of its boosters being reusable. It was an impossible thing to believe for everyone who had just thought of it and never realized it could become a reality. The initial few landing attempts of the boosters turned into a mess for SpaceX. Not only was SpaceX not able to land its booster, but it was the constant damage that was happening to its name and reputation. Finally, SpaceX got a hold of themselves and landed the first ever booster on a concrete pad in Cape Canaveral in December of 2015 and that marked the starting of a different era for the space industry. The sheer excitement at the launch tower of Cape Canaveral was worth the sight because everyone knew what this historic moment could bring for the space travel of the future. So, now that boosters were landing back, the next milestone for SpaceX to achieve was to make these boosters reusable. In 2015, SpaceX landed boosters, and even after that, but initially, it was like SpaceX collecting an inventory of used rocket boosters before they came up with a solution to reuse them. It wasn't until 2017 when SpaceX's Falcon 9 was launched using an already used booster. When SpaceX's Falcon 9 was launched using an already used booster. The booster was refurbished at the SpaceX facility before it was used in the mission. However, it was the dream of Elon to conduct two launches within 24 hours using the same booster. There's still time before we get to see that happen. It's not impossible considering SpaceX's track record, and I am sure they will manage to achieve that someday. For now, let's talk about the company's very recent record-breaking moment of launching three Falcon 9 rockets within 33 hours and 18 minutes. Yeah, which makes it less than even one and a half days. All these flights were commercial flights. One took a Starlink mission into orbit, and the rest of the two were an Earth observation satellite and a commercial communication satellite. Now that is incredible. 
SpaceX had a record of launching three consecutive Falcon 9s in 36 hours and 18 minutes. So, not only has it broken its own record, but made history by doing so. Whenever there is a positive development in the realm of space, it shows that we are getting closer to making space more accessible and profitable. Government agencies might be ready to conduct these missions without considering profit as a serious motive. However, for a private agency, its survival depends upon the success of its rockets from which it can earn profit. While we are here talking about the incredible moments for SpaceX, there is another milestone that SpaceX is all set to achieve, and that's the ambitious target of conducting 60 Falcon 9 flights in one calendar year. And after the recent three record-breaking launches, SpaceX is only one launch shy of making it to the target. When Elon Musk announced this goal for his company, everyone considered it just another empty promise from Elon Musk and moved on. But now that we are in the end game of 2022, it seems like SpaceX might be able to achieve over and above than what they claim to achieve. There is news that SpaceX has another two launches scheduled for the Falcon 9. One is a Starlink mission. It's these historic moments in the realm of space that shows how incredible minds humans have and what they have been able to achieve through implementing those mental capabilities. It's nothing less than a marvel of engineering and sheer brilliance of the company when you consider what they have achieved. From becoming the first company ever to land a booster back on Earth, SpaceX has Falcon 9 boosters that have taken 15 flights. A Falcon 9 booster B-1058 has completed 15 missions in space, and now SpaceX might be putting it to rest. No official announcement regarding the life of the booster has been made by SpaceX, but Elon was found saying that the company plans to retire its booster after conducting 15 flights from them. I guess through this, SpaceX is trying to achieve its monetary goals, while making sure of the safety of its missions. Whatever comes next will be more exciting for the future of space. But even for now, with all these reusable rockets, Conducting three orbital flights with each 11 to 12 hours apart from one another, SpaceX has already done what no one else in the industry could do. At times, it feels like SpaceX came to make history by doing the impossible, and that is simply awesome. So that's a wrap. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.